Hello guys and dolls and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my current favorite products. I have seven favorites and one thing that I don't really like so much. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in with a non-makeup favorite. This is something that, um, it's actually a YouTube partner reward. So if you are a YouTube partner, they have like different rewards for like different levels of achievement so there's like a reward for 100,000 subscribers and there's a reward for a million subscribers it's like a really big gap in between but I digress so I actually was gifted with the 100,000 subscribers award which is a big gray box no I'm kidding um oh I almost dropped it that would have been tragic so it comes with this little paper that says 100,000 oh I'm not going to read you the whole thing but it says to commemorate your milestone of 100,000 YouTube subscribers please accept with our congratulations this silver play button and I am just so tickled pink about this because originally when they came out with the like partner rewards program thing they only have the golden play button for people who have a million subscribers and I'm like I don't know if I'm ever going to get there and I it's such a cool thing so now that I have the silver play button, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, this is you. This is you watching my videos makes this happen. And this is such a great achievement. It's one of those things that's like gonna be amazing to put up in an office. Not that I have an office, but I I, I need to find some place to display this in my home with its like own like lighting setup. And this like is incredible. It's such an amazing award it looks cool by the way also it's like in this big whole foam thing here let her i'll take it out so this is it's very heavy this is what it looks like and on it it says youtube vintage or tacky congratulations for surpassing a hundred thousand subscribers i can't wait to hang this up this is one of those things where like you know youtube is such like a weird thing like i don't know if my videos will be on the internet in 50 years i don't know if you know, um, I'm going to be able to tell my grandkids about this, but this is like something I can point to and be like, here's a physical evidence that I was on the internet and had a YouTube channel and, you know, my letters from you guys and just, uh, this is just, it's amazing and I'm so excited and I would kiss it, but I don't want to get smooched on the glass. So that is my ultimate favorite for the month. Like honestly, like in terms of like favey faves, that's my most favorite thing and we can just stop the video right now. But that would be really boring. So my next favorite of the month, of course, is the electric palette. I love this thing. And it's funny because I feel like my video of this kind of gave a negative impression of it or something. So I love it. I, you know, I gave one away. Um, in fact, the giveaway announcement video was the video just before this earlier this morning. So if you missed that, I will go ahead and have a link to that in the description box down below. I love this palette. And I think that it's one of those ones where, where it's not going to be like the naked palette. It's not going to have that kind of broad appeal where everybody loves it because it's neutral and everyone can wear neutrals and blah blah blah. I think that this is like for a very specific type of person who wants these really bright colors and I'm going to be honest with you guys I don't wear colors like this every day like I used to when I like first started my YouTube channel it was like all brights all the time and it's funny because I have pink hair and everything and I'm like aware that that's unusual but like overall you know I'm in my late 20s I, I'm a little bit more mellow of a person but I still love color, so I don't see myself using this entire palette all the time, all together. I do envision myself using it like in conjunction with other things. So like I could totally see infusing any of these colors into a smoky eye. I could see myself using a couple of these together because they go together well. And you know, it's it's a it's so amazing. And to me, I actually really like that it's all together because let's say you're like me and you don't feel like wearing bright crazy colors all the time so you don't want to invest in them individually this is like a wham bam thank you ma'am kind of situation because even though it's $49 for a palette that you might not use all the time it would cost you so much more money to buy each of these colors individually so that's all I have to say about that and the bottom line is the quality is fantastic I mean really top-notch quality now I did talk in my get in my like review video for this about how some of the colors were not FDA approved and that caused quite a stir that I really didn't mean to start now here's what I want to say about that there are plenty of things that are approved by the FDA that are harmful for us the FDA is not like some you know beacon of uh, you know safety or something the colors are approved in other countries it's just that some people have a reaction with red dye which is what all of the ones that are in the that are you know not safe for the eye area here have a lot of red dye in them so if you don't have a sensitivity you're not going to have a problem a lot of people have said that I haven't had staining at all with this palette I personally do have staining with it but it wasn't enough to make 
make me dislike it. It's one of my favorites. I love this palette. My next favorite of the month is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. You guys know I love this. I did a whole, um, like, application of my foundation with this. Yeah, I even use it for powder, concealer, foundation, the whole nine yards. I also did the comparison between this and the Beauty Blender sponge and I actually like this better than the Beauty Blender which was a miracle to me because I thought nothing could beat the Beauty Blender. And this actually went on sale like right as I did that video which was quite fortuitous and it was like buy one get one 50% off. So I stocked up on this and now I'm using them in my kit. I had the opportunity to use this sponge on clients this weekend. I did it like a double lesson. So I got to try it out with two different foundations that I don't normally use so I got to see how it would work with like a thinner like kind of sheer creamy foundation and I got to see how it worked with like a thicker full coverage very very matte foundation and it worked beautifully with both so this is definitely like holy grail status need to have it super super stock up because they're inexpensive and oh I mean you don't need to hoard like 40 of them but when they're on sale, I would definitely recommend getting a couple. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Love the sponge. If you guys want to go back and see my uh, review video for that, between that and the Beauty Blender, as well as my uh, foundation application for that, I will have the link in the description box down below. My next favorite of the month will come as no surprise to anyone, I'm sure, the Wayne Goss Face Brush Set. Fantastic. I know it's really expensive. It's an investment in something luxury and, and fantastic and not just, you know, a means to an end, which, don't get me wrong, I love my cheap brushes too, but these are just, they're so good. And I finally had the opportunity, again, to use these on clients this last weekend, and it was fantastic to get their feedback and like, you know, even they were like really kind of skeptical about these brushes. They're like, they're so expensive, I don't know. And then once I was painting them, you know, using them to do their makeup, they're like, oh, okay. I get it. And then they put a whole bunch of these brushes on their little shopping list that I left them with. So um, yeah, I, I have to say that my favorite brush still from this set is the number 14. It is just the best at blush ever. I never thought that I would like a blush brush that wasn't like dense or fluffy or anything. And this is fluffy, but it's so like, it's just uh, sparse and that helps it actually give you that like super soft look to your blush without going overboard and I surprisingly even used this one on the clients and it felt so good. So overall I am still really loving these and I just I think that they're fantastic and they will be available for individual sales soon. I don't know the exact date when they'll be available but um, go ahead and check Beautylish. Also the eye brush set just came available today. I actually already pre-ordered my set because I'm like I have to have these brushes. Eye set is way less money than the face brush set so this was like $265 which was, again was gifted to me from Wayne so thank you again Wayne. Um, but the uh, uh, face or the eye brush set is 148 or something like that so it's way less money or just buy the brushes individually because again you might you know what why is this turning into like a whole thing about the Wayne Goss brushes moving on so my next favorite of the month is a lipstick that I've actually had for a while this is Rosa Moore from Milani and it's such a beautiful pink and of course I'm not wearing it today but it's it's just the perfect perfect like not really hot pink, but not like demure pink either. It's like right in between. It's perfect. It's a little bit blue based, but it's not too blue based that you can't wear it with warmer colors. This is one of my absolute all time favorite pink lipsticks. Again, it's Rose Amour by, um, my, by Milani. And the texture of this is not quite matte, but not, to not quite shiny. I can't talk. It's it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite lipsticks ever and it is only like $5.49. So there. Sorry. I just, I can't talk and I... My next favorite of the month is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I think these are probably going to be in like everyone's favorite who tried them this month. And the funny thing is I found out they were coming out and then I went to buy them and they were like all sold out except for Radiant Magenta, which is the first one I bought. And it's a beautiful peachy blush, but it can maybe go like a hair too orange on me if I over apply it. So I have to be very delicate with how I apply this, but it's very pigmented. So really I shouldn't be over applying it anyway. And so I love that one so much that I ended up getting the Ethereal Light blush, whatever that one is called. And I had to return it because it was like a frosty hot mess on me. It was just, it was really, it was 
not cute. Now I'm really surprised because I'm very fair tone. So I'm like, if that's what it looks like on me, what does it, what does it look like on other people? Ugh, ugh, no. So I decided to go ahead and get some of the other colors. So I got Mood Exposure, which is so beautiful. I have no words. If you like the Tarte overexposed blush, the Amazonian clay one, that's sort of like that nudie little tiny bit of mauve, but maybe you wish it was a little more mauve or a little more plum. Hello, how about you do? Perfect blend between like a mauve and a neutral blush. It's just, it's so fantastic. I can imagine this looking good on so many different skin tones. I love it. The one that I'm wearing today is Diffused Heat, which is a beautiful peach. It's got kind of like a yellowy base and then like this like more um, deeper peach veining in it. So pretty. And they all have like a little bit of the corresponding color to like the ambient lighting powder. So this is Diffused Heat and this is Diffused Light. See, see how see what they're doing there. Um, I also want to say that the ambient lighting powders, if you are looking into these, they're amazing. This is not a purchase that you're gonna regret. We'll say one of mine broke this weekend and it was a sad moment. And this is the face I make when my makeup breaks. <laughs> Lesson learned, do not put your makeup on a window ledge. That's a dangerous, dangerous place for it to be. So my final favorite of the month before we get to the thing that I really didn't like is another documentary. You know, last month I shared the Prohibition one. So many of you guys liked that. So many of you thanked me for sharing it. So I decided to kind of share something like that every month. So this month's, you know, documentary is something that one of you suggested to me in my last month favorite video and that is The Powder and the Glory. This is a DVD that I got off Amazon. I think it's like $19 or something like that and it's available on Amazon Prime so you can get it shipped for free if you have Amazon Prime membership. Um, again it's a PBS production. Um, this is a really interesting documentary about the rivalry between Elizabeth Arden and Helena Rubinstein. So much interesting stuff about them personally and just like how they built their business and it's just incredible like that these women created this industry like almost out of thin air like cosmetics were sold but they weren't sold like they sold them and uh, just the whole beauty industry and everything like if you are a makeup artist if you're interested in makeup you should really watch this it's fantastic unfortunately it's not available on like Netflix or anything but like I said it's available through Amazon and it's a purchase I don't think you're gonna regret even though it's like $19 for like a documentary I don't know I thought it was kind of steep but I I enjoyed it very much so and then we get to the thing that I don't like so this is interesting so I bought these Palladio liners a while ago this is the uh, what is it called herbal precision eyeliner and I really liked the white one because it was really nice and thick so I was like oh it's great like I can use it in the waterline because it's small enough versus like a NYX jumbo pencil or something that's too big for the waterline. But I'm like, oh, but it's big enough that I can use it like, you know, as a lid base or something really easily, blah, blah, blah. And for a while, all was gold and all was well. It was fine. And then all of a sudden it got like really dry on me. And you can see like, these pencils aren't very big to begin with. I haven't had it very long. And for it to have dried out already is such a bump. Like I have pencils that I've had for like two years that aren't, haven't dried out. So that is a huge, huge bummer. Um, and more to the point, um, I have this other one um, in the ultraviolet shade, which is a really cool dark purple. But when I went to sharpen it, it kept breaking. It kept breaking and kept breaking. So these are unfortunately a dud for me. If you have tried these and liked them, please let me know what your experience has been. If you have tried them and disliked them, I'd also you know, be interested to hear, um, you know, it's, it's disappointing. I've tried Palladio things that I really like, but I don't know if I just got duds, if like the Ulta that I went to had old eyeliners or something, I don't know. Help me out here. Let's get to the bottom of this eyeliner situation. So that is my monthly faves and my monthly not so fave. And that'll wrap it up. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky, just be yourself. See you, bye.